the second collection of, of psalms, Psalm 42 through Psalm 72. As the heart panted after the water brooks, so panted my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God, with the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hermonites, from the hill Mitzar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Then shall I come and appear before God. Verse 2 is a strange thing to explain doctrinally. David doesn't enter the Holy of Holies as a priest one time in his lifetime. Does he mean at death? The context is a holy day, verse 4, where a multitude appears before God, but even then he is outside the tabernacle. The chances are, are David is not the author. Someone is writing after the time of Solomon, but not even when Hezekiah spreads his petition before the Lord. 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 14. Is he inside the whale? Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 11 is the best explanation. But there is something terribly personal about the expression here. I doubt if many Israelites thirsted for a feast day, like the writer thirsts for God, verse 1. His soul is thirsting for the living God, not for a celebration of the feast of unleavened, unleavened bread, or the feast of weeks, or the feast of tabernacles, Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16. One sense is in all of this is a personal desire to get an answer to prayer. They continually say unto me, Where is thy God? Verse 3. As proof that he has appeared before God as an individual. Here is a true hungering and thirsting after righteousness mentioned in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. When I remember these things, verse 4 is a reference to 1. Tears day and night because of unanswered prayer. 2. The saints as well as his enemies asking where is he. This is what the Pharisees give Christ on the cross, Matthew chapter 27, verse 43. He now refers to a time when he was happy with the crowd. He kept the feast day with the voice of joy and praise, verse 4. But now the joy and the praise have ceased. Such is often the case. No man is happy on the rack. Note the help of his countenance, verse 5, which could imply that the answer to the prayer was appearing before God, right in front of his face. Note Numbers, chapter 6, verses 25 to 26, along this same line. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Therefore will, will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, Hermonites, Mitzar. Some commentators pushes the psalm into David's mouth say, by, by saying that the reference to Jordan is from 2 Samuel, Samuel chapter 17, verse 22. Some commentators agree and insist this takes place when David is fleeing from Absalom. And some uh, commentators, some comments say by the commentators on the house of God in verse 4. In Samuel, the tabernacle is called the house of the Lord. See 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 24. But it's after Solomon that it's called 
the house of God. Note First Chronicles chapter 25, verse 6, 28, verse 12, and 21. Chapter 29, verse 7, Second Chronicles chapter 4, verses verse 11, chapter 5, verse 1, chapter 15, verse 18, chapter 22, verse 12, chapter 24, verse 27, chapter 28, verse 24, chapter 31, verse 20, 20, 31, chapter and verse 21, chapter 35 and verse 8, etc. David certainly wouldn't just remember God from the Jordan because he had to cross it. When did, the cross, when did he cross any mountain in the Hermonites? Mount Her Hermon is, is about 70 kilometers north of the Sea of Galilee, and David was more than uh, 30 kilometers south of the sea. Deep call it unto deep at the, at the noise of thy water spouts, verse 7. Whoever the psalmist is, he is remembering God from three different locations. One, one of them is a type of the third heaven in the tribulation when the pride of Christ is looking down on events below. Song of Solomon, chapter 4, chapter 4 verse 8. Second, another one, Jordan, is a type of death, a place where three miraculous crossing took place, Joshua, Elijah and El Elisa. Elisa. Third, the third one is unidentified. It's a little hill. It may be one from Psalm chapter 65 verse 12 or 72 verse 3. The deep is something else. Horses come through it. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 15 from outer space. It's also a picture of a man in hell, like Jonah, Ch Psalm chapter 88, verse 6. Its face is not like the Mediterranean or the Jordan, for it's frozen, Job chapter 38, verse 30. And you will pass through it, going up at the rapture and coming down at the advent. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 10 and 63, verse 13. The deluge according to the commentators, is the event which pictures the wrath of God on the individual sinner. Jonah chapter 2 verse 3, Psalm 88 verse 6. And this why is the Lord Jesus ref and this is this why is the Lord Jesus refers to his sufferings, Matthew chapter 20 verse 23 as a baptist. It also explains why he allowed himself to be baptized in water, Matthew chapter 3, verse 16. Whoever is speaking in Psalm 42 feels the wrath of God on, on him, and he is remembering God for his loving kindness. Verse 8. From four positions, the third heaven above, the great deep, dead and mitzar, wherever that is. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the sword in my bones, mine enemies reproach me, while they say daily unto me, Where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him. Who is the health of my countenance and my God? The soul we are dealing with is a cast down soul, a disquieted soul, a poured out soul, and a thirsty soul. Galvary lurks in the background. Although his daily di diet, day and night, had been tears, verse 3, this soul claims that they will be replaced with loving kindness in the day and a song in the night. See Job chapter 35, verse 10. Songs in the night are songs sung on the way to Getseman. Matthew chapter 26, verse 30, in the slammer 
Acts chapter 16, verse 24 to 25, and lying in our own bed, Psalm chapter 149, verse 5. Verse 9 is self-explanatory. There is a touch of the nation of Israel connected with the rock, as in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 31, while the oppression comes from the Antichrist. The reproach, verse 10, hurts exactly like a sword jammed into your chin bone or your wrist bone. Verse 11 repeats verse 5, who, who is the health instead of for the help of, and this time it's the psalmist countenance that has cleared up. Back in verse 5, it was God's countenance that was going to bring this about. These psalms, like many other, are also good for good examples for praying in time of troubles and time of thanksgiving and so on. I could say almost in any time.